other interesting political news, you have Kamala Harris going viral in her response to the question, should people stand for the national anthem? Which, I mean, anyone with Kamala from intelligence or, you know, Patriot would say, well, yes, 110%, you're American, right? Don't you like, I mean, why wouldn't you stand up for the song that unites all of us? They're instead going to say, why wouldn't you salute the American flag? But I partially digress, we'll hear what they have to say. This comes to us thanks to Jeanita Broderick over on the good old X Twitter. She says, quote, reporter, should people stand for the national anthem? Comrade Kamala, word salad from this moron asking no sense whatsoever. Holy F. At least the interviewer, he did something right. He did suit up, as all men should. And this didn't go as far as I thought. I got about 350,000 views. Uh, hear what they have to say. Should folks stand for the national anthem? I think that one of the beautiful things about our country is that we f were founded on certain principles. Um, that we articulated in 1776. We are all and should be treated as equals. We articulated those principles in our Constitution. She doesn't believe that. That's why she wants to give people money for houses arbitrarily. She doesn't want to give that equally. She, she does not believe that at all. She, I mean, they gave government resources to people based on things they can't, can't control, like their race and, like their race and gender. But she doesn't believe what she's saying. And part of what we decided is what makes a fair and just and noble society and a democracy, a true democracy, is freedom of religion, freedom, right, of association, freedom to organize, First Amendment. So that is part of who we are as a country, and I will defend it to the core, which is that we give people certain choices in this country. Should folks stand for the now? I mean, politicians, politicians in general, including, including one of those on the right, are terrible at actually, you know, answering the damn question. But yeah, of course she can't answer it. That's above, I don't know, it's above her pay grade. Well, actually, no, she's making, I don't know how much she's making right now. Whatever it is, it's too much. Way too much. But yeah, she couldn't just say, yes, if you're American, yeah. I mean, my three cents used to be two cents, but 40 year hyperinflation. Should you stand for the national anthem? Should you, um, yes. As American, it's your right to not, but morally and culturally, yes, you should. I mean, a lot, I mean, there's a time when most Americans all, you know, unified by that, by that song, by that flag. Unfortunately, those times are, you know, that number of folks doing that are decreasing is another cause for concern in terms of the cultural and political decay in the United States. But yeah, it's a ball of work salad. This is why she gives so few interviews and why I suspect, I mean, they just want her. I mean, it's a pacement campaign. If they, Democrats have won before, look at Biden's, I mean, last election, Biden went out the cave or out of the basement like two times, still won. But yeah, this is why they don't want Kamala Harris to talk or do any interviews because she crashes and burns terribly. Now, Going to the top comments here, you also have someone by the name of Trilla Kirk, very famous, of course, who says, should be one order answer. Yes, getting 323, let's make it 324 likes. Bo says she has no answers to anything, getting 108 likes. Going down more and more. Let's see. Oh, jeez. ATX Irish Gal says, just a reminder, this is how Kamal started off. There's only so much you can do with that. Oh, ho. It's the picture of a parrot. And it's making the gesture of the parrot puts his hand to his beak. And yeah, it just goes up and down, up and down, simulating what, uh... Although, fact check not right, parrot is not on its knees. So, I mean, I don't know how... I don't think it'll pass muster. Did you get 203 likes, though? You have Joe Zekin saying, at this point, if you vote for this, you're diagnosed with a mental disorder, getting 248 likes. Yes, I have somebody named Sam James saying, Kamal hates America. A vote for Kamala is a vote to destroy America forever. We won't come back for another four years of this. It's a picture also accompanied with a picture of an American flag. It's a quote by Oliver Wendell Holmes saying, One flag, one land, one heart, one hand, one nation, evermore. Gain nine, no, 98 likes. Oh, it should get 908 likes. Louise USA says, She gives the wrong answer. Kamala is another Colin Kaepernick who disrespects her national anthem. No one wants to stay on their team because he's a terrible, uh, he's a terrible maker. It's not complicated to Kamala. It's her national anthem stand, gain 101 likes, which... I mean, Colin Kaepernick, I mean, he makes all his money from political activism, not talent on the field. I mean, he can even throw that pigskin more than once or twice. Let's see here. Scrolling down more and more. America memed. No, they didn't give us a meme. It's just text response. A little disappointed, given that profile name. This quote, another principle to destroy every fabric of this nation was built on. Gained 26 likes. Let's see. Buddy Allen says, I love Kamala Harris. She is not fit to be president of the United States. This woman will destroy our, this country. World War III is right around the corner with her. She has depleted the strategic oil reserve before election and dismantled the military. We'll be toast if we have a strike. King 89 likes. 
showing his AI picture of Kamala standing from a crowd with the communism or the hammer and sickle logos from the Soviet Union. Somebody, this person's called Black Man for Trump said, her dad is a communist professor. Why are you surprised at this behavior from this Indian lady? Gained 22 likes. Which, yeah. Someone actually counted it out. T-Bone says, 238 words, just say no. Gained 28 likes, which that would be a lot more transparent. Let's see. Rhonda Lynn says, dancing around the issue without addressing the question shall be henceforth called the wall, the hair's walls. Got one like, but I'll give it two likes. I thought it was moderately amusing. Let's see. So yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, one of those easy, it's almost like a softball question and she still fumbled it. There's an AI picture of her pulling a salad. It's called Word Salad. That's from uh, Mr. Red, Right, and Blue. I mean, there's a certain cliche softball question in politics where everyone just answers the same thing. Like, what are your focus on? We're going to get America back to work, which they all say, yeah, it's true, we need more jobs. But yeah, she even fumbled this question, which just highlights her nepotism, in my opinion. I mean, it just it blows my mind. But again, there are a lot, I don't, I almost wonder if it even matters. She could pretty much say or do anything at this point, I think, because a lot of people, their whole part, a big party line is vote blue no matter who. And a lot of my, I, I mean, I've, I've met some of these folks and they just don't care. I mean, they, they can't even name her policies. It's just, oh yeah, we, we, we think Democrats are better in the country. And that'd be a good question with comments. Do you think it matters what she says or does anymore? Do you think the, the votes are all locked in? People are just going to vote already? They're not, it's not going to be swayed? Let me know in the comments, because as always, be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.